increase your personal power and inspiration coming into your life. Give these seven things up immediately. This is Law of Attraction Secrets. Join Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach Robert Sink and prepare to be empowered. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you might be listening to this special Law of Attraction podcast, I am your Miracle Mentor, your Mentor of Light, Robert Zink. And today we are, oh, we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. You know, the word inspiration is so powerful. When you're inspired, you want to get up early. You want to stay up late. You just cannot get enough of what you're doing. Now you can be inspired with your career, with art, with writing, with love, with business. It, you know, inspiration has no limits. And I'm going to tell you this. I firmly believe that anybody that wants to be truly successful in life needs to learn how to lead an inspired life. In other words, make the things you do inspire others, inspire yourself and take you to the next level. You're constantly improving yourself, constantly polishing the stone. As we say, I'm going to give you seven things that I think you absolutely must give up to allow this incredible universal inspiration to begin flowing into your life. And if you'll give these things up, you're going to find that, ah, uh, you're going to be soaring high, like a big, beautiful Eagle. You're just going to have so much fun with everything you do. You're not going to see the negativity in the world. You're going to see the opportunity in the world to take your life to the next level, to make yourself happier, to make others happier, to have a life filled with love and abundance and joy and prosperity. It's a good thing, isn't it? It's a wonderful thing. Inspired means from the Greek to be in the spirit. When you are in the spirit, when the spirit of light, when the spirit of joy, when the spirit of love, when the spirit of God is flowing through you, nothing can stop you. You become unstoppable. You feel like you're walking on cloud nine all day and you get things done faster, cleaner, easier than ever before. Okay. We're going to get onto the list, but first I want to remind you to be sure and subscribe to us on YouTube, because if you subscribe on YouTube, we are going to put you in the monthly drawing for three manifesting accelerators. That's we're going to have three winners every month. Okay. And the manifesting accelerator, it sells for about 60 bucks. You're going to love it. It's a game changer. It will help you manifest the kind of things that you want in your life faster, quicker, easier. Anyway, you're going to be in the drawing. So be sure and subscribe and click the bell icon because we are doing more live on the fly videos on this channel. You know, we, we have all kinds of craziness going on on this channel. We have the podcasts, we do how to videos. We are doing now live videos. And Rachel has told me she's going to start doing more videos and audios. So be sure and subscribe, click the bell icon. Okay. Number one, give up this whole idea that you are a powerless victim. Okay. Everybody gets kicked in life. Some people get kicked for a small amount of money. Some people get kicked for love. Some people get kicked for business. You know, in other words, nobody walks out of this world without being kicked. You can choose to be a powerless victim, but that's only going to attract more sets of circumstances and more people and more opportunities to keep you in the victim mode. It's a vicious cycle, but once you break out of that and just bust the chains and say, no more. And you make 
an affirmation. Now here's the affirmation I like. I am resourceful. And so every time you start to think about being a victim, how your family screwed you over, how your ex screwed you over, how this person messed you up. Every time you begin to think of that, pause for a moment, take a deep breath and say, I am resourceful. In other words, you are completely resourceful because the one, the one energy that will never mess you up will never make you a victim unless that's what you choose to be is the universe. Unless you choose to be a victim, the universe will never force you into the victim role. I believe the universe is in this state of consciousness, higher vibrational consciousness, and the universe wants you to live at a higher resourceful state, realizing that you can attract anything you desire. Number two, you've got bad habits and you're thinking about, and you know what your bad habits are. I don't need to tell you. I'm not going to go through a whole list. We'll do a separate podcast on bad habits, but you know what some of them are. Yet you're still dreaming of a wonderful, incredible, happy future. If you don't change you first, if you do not change you internally, your vibration, your habits, your behavior. Well, then you can't expect the world around you to ever change. It will continue to be as it is. What you put out is what you're going to receive back. You see this journey that you and I are on, we're all on. This journey is about you. It's your journey. It's about you changing your behavior, your bad habits. Are you getting up late? Are you staying up too late? Are you watching too much? Do you know this? Okay. You know, if you have these bad habits, are you calling your ex all the time? Bad habits, give them up. I am master of my thoughts and my emotions. When you take control of your thoughts and emotions. Can we add one to that? I am master of my thoughts, emotions, and habits. Develop good habits and you've got to write them down. And if you're working in a partnership with someone and you're writing them down and she isn't, or he isn't, then that makes it very tough. You've got to do this stuff together. You've got to write these things down together. And here's the reason why you have dreams. You have goals and you're not going to get there with these old thoughts, these old emotions and these old bad habits. Number three, give up caring what other people think about you. You're not going to please everyone. You'll be lucky to please 50%. So why try, you know, why do you spend so much of your time and energy you know, putting a smile on your face over a dinner that you cooked and then posting it all over social media. Why waste time with that? Who cares what other people think? Because when you focus on what other people think, you give up your uniqueness. You give up that spark that makes you, you, you're trying to conform. You're trying to fit in. You're trying to do this. You're trying to do that. Just be who you are the best version. You have various versions of who you are. Understand that. Okay. You have various versions. Okay. I want you to be the best version of who you are. That's the key. What would you be like in your perfect state? What would your weight look like? What would your health be like? What would your language be like? What would your daily habits be like? And then go about living it and give up caring what other people think. I love my unique self. I love my unique self. Number four, focusing on shortcomings. You know, you may believe you have shortcomings and 
a lot of people will say, well, we all have shortcomings, but why focus on that? Whether you have them or not, whether they're real or not, if you believe you have them, you have them. I want you to focus on your unlimited potential. Every time you think of a shortcoming, focus on your unlimited power and potential to manifest the world that you desire. Look at you are co-creator with the universe. There is nothing stopping you from anything. So you have no shortcomings. I am unlimited potential. Number five, stop the griping and the complaining. I mean, it's not going to do anybody any good. All it's going to do is reinforce negative beliefs and ideas in your mind. Every time you complain, every time you gripe, every time you say a negative, and then you say it again, and then you say it again, you're reinforcing that belief that becomes your affirmation. I have a bad back. My back really hurts. Well, okay. If you're saying I have a bad back, my back really hurts in order to take an action right now. Perhaps that's okay. In order to seek help, you go to the doctor. I have a bad back. My back really hurts. But when you say I have a bad back, you're reinforcing a negative. You have a great back and it can get better. Do you see what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense to reinforce these negatives like that. Stop the griping. Stop the complaining. Unless it can lead to immediate action. In other words, you go to the doctor, as I said, and you say, Hey, my back really hurts all the way to, well, of course that's not griping and complaining. That's giving information so you can take action, but walking around the house, walking around your office all day saying, I have a bad back. It hurts. I'm not going to help you. Positive words come out of my mouth and out of my mind. Positive words come out of my mind and out of my mouth. Number six, stop wasting time on social media. Look, you can have the biggest social media accounts. It's a time waster. It's a time buster. It wastes your time. It literally drains your life force. You get off of there and what the hell have you accomplished? Nothing. You've accomplished absolutely nothing. So there is room for social media. I'm not against social media. I'm not one of those people that you got to turn off all your social media, but you know, it's, it's like eating chocolate. You got to limit yourself, right? Give yourself 10 minutes a day. Give yourself 15 minutes a day. Maybe break it up into two parts. So you're going to do about five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening or 10 in the morning, 10 in the evening, but limit yourself on your social media, unless it's your business. If it's your business and it's earning you money, then by all means, that's part of your job. But aside from that, give it up. It's, it's a waste of your time. Number seven, stop talking about high vibrations and personal growth without taking action. You know, this is so important. Everybody today is talking about self-improvement. They're quoting the Bible. They're quoting the Bhagavad Gita. They're quoting Dr. Wayne Dyer. I mean, it just goes on and on there. They've been to Tony Robbins seminars, but they're not taking action. Information alone will not change. I, I get this all the time. People will call me and I get them, Robert, I've been studying the law of attraction for many, many years now. I know it all. There's nothing you can teach me. Oh, really? Okay. Well, good. I don't know why you called, but great. But some things just for some reason are just not going right in my life. Okay. See what's happened with this individual is that he or she has studied it all. They've read all the books. They've listened to all the CDs and tapes and audio programs for years. And I use tapes because some of these people have been doing this stuff for 30 years, but they don't sit down and say, what am I going to apply today? What am I going to do today? That's different than yesterday. What action am I going to take today? 
And, you know, I have, of course, my uh, MacBook and all of that stuff, but I also have a physical calendar in my office. You need to mark things down when you're making changes. You need to see exactly where you're at and what you're doing and where you're going. At the end of the year, that calendar should be like a roadmap of where you have been. I am genuine. I take action. Now I'm going to give you a bonus. Are you ready? Write these three words down. Nothing will bring about inspiration like action. So what action can you take today to leverage the power of your life? It can be a small action. It can be a phone call that you've been putting off. It can be a visit that you've been putting off. It can be something that you've been putting off that uh, you, you should study. You should learn because it will help you in your journey. What action can and will you take today? Take action. Do it now. Thank you so much for listening to us. And uh, we will be back tomorrow again with more personal empowerment and the law of attraction. Visit us at our website at lawofattractionsolutions.com. I am your miracle mentor, your mentor of light, Robert Zenk, saying, have a great day because you deserve it. Bye-bye now.